Uh, but now I'm going to talk a little bit about tips um, and, and that kind of stuff for pitching, or I, I guess advice for pitching. So the first piece of advice I have for you is you don't always have to tune your sample to the root of your scale. So you know if you have a song in the key of C, I think a lot of people would automatically assume that they have to tune their drum samples to be played as a C. Uh, but that's not entirely accurate. Um, so I'm going to take a look at an example using this kick drum. And I'm going to quickly pitch it using Edison. Um, so you can see it has actually two different pitch regions that it detected. Uh, one is, it says is B2, but if you listen to that in Edison, it's very much a part of the punch of that kick still. Um, and then if you listen to the part where it says E2, that's actually the bass tail of the kick. So it's safe to say that the pitch of this kick is E. Um, and that's what I'm going to set it to. Uh, again, you know, same thing, just in the piano roll, right click E. Um, e, there. And now, you know, when I play it, it's going to be um, pitched with the keyboard. Uh, so the example I gave was the key of C. And you can hear when I play the high C, the character of that kick has changed quite a bit. It's a it's a lot higher pitched. You know, this is not the kind of kick that you might want to use for uh, progressive house. Um, so you know, maybe you want to pitch it to the lower C. But the problem you run into when you pitch it to the lower C is, um, you know, this C is a very low pitch. It's uh, 32 hertz is um, where that C is. Uh, rough, roughly, and that's going to be a frequency that not a lot of sound systems are going to be able to play very well. So like my car speakers, they won't play it very well. Um, so you're not going to get, you know, a nice fat kick sound uh, from this. Yeah, it's going to be very, very deep and you're only really going to hear it on sound systems that have a really good bass response. Um, you know, any other sound system, it's, it's going to be so low pitched that it's going to be weak and not very present. Which, um, you know, that might be okay depending on what you're going for. But, you know, if you want a fat kick, um, you know, a nice, a, a nice fat kick, uh, it's not going to work for that. So what you can do, since, you know, the high C is too high and the low C is too low, you can pitch it to the fifth of that key instead. Um, so if you think, you know, the root chord of that scale is either going to be, um, if you're in C major or C minor, it's either going to be a C major chord or it's going to be a C minor chord. Um, but both of these chords, you know, have the same top note and that's the uh, fifth of the scale. Um, so you can pitch it to that note instead, um, and that's it's going to sound good. It's going to sound very much in key with the song if it's pitched to that. Um, so you can do that instead of pitching it to the fundamental. You know, so in the case of a C scale, um, C major or C minor, it's going to be G. And so you can hear it now. This one is um, a pretty nice fat kick. You know, it's deep, but it's not too deep, uh, and it's nice and fat. So it, it sounds, you know, for Progressive House, that sounds a lot better than, like, that or this. You know, th this one definitely sounds the best. So, you know, your first instinct might be to pitch it to the root of your scale, um, but sometimes that's not going to sound that great, really. A lot of times it will sound fine, a lot of times it will sound awesome, but in the cases that it doesn't sound great, you might try pitching it to the fifth instead. 
Um, and if that doesn't sound great either, you might try some other notes of the scale. You know, but the, the root or the fifth are probably the best. So my next um, a piece of advice is along the same lines. And this is that you don't have to tune your drums at all sometimes. You know, I think a lot of beginners hear this advice that you should tune your drums and they really kind of get carried away with it and they want to tune everything. Um, but sometimes you don't have to. Sometimes it's not a good idea to try to pitch your drums. You know, usually if you have a very tonal uh, drum sound like, you know, a hard style kick or a nice house kick with a long tail um, or, you know, a snare drum that has a very tonal body to it. Uh, it can sound very good to pitch those, um, to tune those to your track. But a lot of drums don't really have defined pitches. So a lot of hi-hats, um, uh, a lot of snares. Yeah, if you have a snare that doesn't have a very strong body or um, here's an example of a snare that doesn't really have a particularly defined pitch. Yeah, you can see like this snare, it has a pretty defined pitch, um, whereas this one is just pretty messy in that um, body. So, you know, this kind of snare isn't something that you would have to pitch. You could change the pitch of it, you know, if you want it to be a bit punchier or deeper, you could, you know, change the pitch for that reason. But, you know, it's probably not something that you would really get in tune with your, um, the key of your track. And then, you know, any kicks, if you have a kick that's uh, rather short, you know, if, if it's short enough, it's not really going to have a defined pitch. Um, so, you know, there's not really any point in trying to tune that to your, um, the key of your song. But again, you could change the pitch of it to make it uh, punchier or deeper, um, but you're not really going to do that to get it in tune with your track. So, you know, any drum sounds that are more noise um, or don't really have a defined pitch are, you know, it's not really going to make sense to pitch them. And now even with drum sounds that do have a bit of a defined pitch, you don't always have to pitch them. You know, if it sounds okay without you pitching, um, like if you had the snare, if you, if it sounds okay pitched um, as it is with your song, you know, you don't have to pitch it if you don't want to, but if, if it sounds weird, if it sounds kind of bad, then you would probably want to pitch it. Like if, if it sounds dissonant with um, your chords or something, you might want to pitch it. So, you know, you don't have to pitch all your drums. You don't have to pitch any of your drums. Uh, but sometimes it does sound good to pitch certain drums. And, you know, those drums are going to be any that are particularly tonal. Um, so, you know, any, any drums that are very tonal. So hopefully this video was helpful. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And of course, if you want to make your own request for this tutorial request series, uh, just leave that request in the comments as well, and I might end up making a video about it. So I will see you in the next video.